Looking at all the different roles you've played, there seems to be a common theme, which is you've pretty much exclusively played people that are that kill or hurt people or, you know what I mean, have that kind of yeah. uh, intensity, that violent intensity. Why do you think you've always been cast in those roles? I think I just have beady little eyes and I, <laughs> I look like that guy. You look like that guy? Yeah. Is it you need beady little eyes to do that? I think so, yeah. I've got beady little eyes. You do, yeah. But mine don't, I don't look like a killer. I look, when my eyes are darting around, I just look like a creep, you know? <laughs> Like, see, my guy is just isn't gonna kill anybody. <laughs> my guy is just looking to steal a hot dog, you know? <laughs> but when you do it, there's a, there's a sensuality to it, there's a, a power to it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you know. I, yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> you kind of got beady little eyes over there. I do. Yeah, I, I, they're very German. <laughs> you, uh, you, you know, so much of your professional life now when you're on set is dodging walkers, killing people. Do you ever, when you're, when you're out in the world and you're walking in a crowd, does it, you know, do you ever forget for a second you're not on the set because that's so much, and, and get a little paranoid when you've, got, when you've got crowds of people around you and so much of your work life is dodging walkers, stabbing them? You know, I, I mean, I live, in, I live in New York and it's very crowded on the sidewalks, so sometimes, I'll, I mean, I try to make Daryl, as the season go on, have a bit of a ballet to his, his zombie murder, yeah. you know? Um, but what'll happen is if, you know, there'll be like two people coming at me this way and there'll be four people. This is just on the street in New York. Yeah, I think like, I'm gonna take the little one, I'm gonna throw him into that one. <laughs> <laughs> Separate myself, I'll stab this one, I can take it out and still catch him in time to hit this one. This guy will come behind me, I can hit, you know. So you know, to be fair, yeah. that's, that's how half New Yorkers are thinking. Oh, exactly right, exactly right. That's yeah. what the little old lady is thinking on yeah. her way down the street. Totally. So that, yeah, I would think that would be part of your thinking all the time is, okay, this is I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. But there is, over the years, I, I'm a big fan of the show and I've seen it develop where it started with you guys just, you know, killing walkers oh, yeah. and then it turned into, you've, you've gained this confidence, which would make sense. Some time has gone by and you've killed by this point thousands of walkers, so there actually is, you're very athletic about it. You're sort of, you guys are creative about it. Well, there was, I mean, there was an episode, um, I think it was second season, where uh, uh, the church bell is ringing and we're running through there and there's three uh, scary walkers in, uh, sitting in church pews mm -hmm. and the, the creepy lady comes at me and I kind of went to stab her and she was so gross that I kind of got out of the way, like, ugh, like, <laughs> like, don't get on me, you know? Yeah, yeah. And then John Bernthal goes, okay, that was terrifying and hilarious. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'd be really funny if after all this time, suddenly your character Dell is like, oh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, right? And then he's like, <laughs> you know, yeah.